morning students on today's lecture i'll cover lineup symmetry of 2d shapes you can see i have a list of uh, 2d shapes uh, rectangular squares parallelogram like this up to a circle and we are going to find out in each case how many number of lineup symmetry this uh, shapes may have okay uh, first what is lineup symmetry let's say i have this uh, uh, rectangle okay this is a rectangle um, Opposite sides are parallel and equal, and each of the angle is 90 degrees. So this is a shape of rectangle. If we can uh, fold this shape through a line so that I can have two congruent uh, part or two congruent shapes, then that line through which I'm going to fold it, let's say this is the line, I'm going to fold it, okay, this shape. Okay. If this part is coincided with that part, then we call that this is a line of symmetry. I have one rectangle. I'll, I'll show you this one, a rectangle. See this rectangle? So it's like that, opposite sides are parallel. If I fold it through this, vertically fold through the middle of this, then this line that I have, I have fold this shape on, this is one line of symmetry. Okay, this is one line of symmetry. Is there any other way? Yeah, if, if we can fold it horizontally like that, See this, I can make a congruent shape, this side and another congruent shape of that side, and this is another line of symmetry. So through the horizontal with this side, I have another line of symmetry. Okay, what about diagonally? Can we do it diagonally? Let's, let's fold this shape diagonally. Okay, now when I, sh when I fold this shape rectangle diagonally, I can see that I have two congruent triangles each of them 90 degree remember each of the angle is 90 degree opposite sides are parallel and equal so this it when, when i fold this shape through this diagonal i have two congruent shapes but one shape is not coincide with another okay so we cannot say this is a line of symmetry so to be a line of symmetry of a shape has to be reflected this is the word i use uh, sorry reflected reflected congruent that means the line of reflection has to be in such a way that this side is going to be coincide with that side okay like this so it's reflected congruent so trying a uh, rectangle has two line of symmetry so we can write down it has two line of symmetry okay let's try with the square so i have this a square first try it vertically do we have one yes we have vertically a line of symmetry so this is line of symmetry one and then let me draw this line line of symmetry reflected congruent it makes this way horizontal yeah i have one more line of symmetry can you go diagonally let's try this if i can fold this diagonally look at this they coincide okay I hope you remember the previous one. See that this is not reflected congruent, but this is reflected congruent. Uh, let me just show you here. Okay, you can see these two shapes. This this makes two triangle, and they are coincide with each other. This also make two triangles, but they are not coincide with this. Uh, uh, it's a shape. Okay, one side to the other. So this is not reflected congruent, but this one is. Okay, so I can say this diagonal it has a line of symmetry right here three so i'm guessing this side will this diagonal also make a line of symmetry see that when i draw this through the diagonal there's another one this side okay so a square has four line of symmetry okay now let's try with parallelogram this parallelogram if i fold it um, through the middle vertically i can see that it's not coincide similarly when i fold it through this let me just uh, turn it over again so you can see it's um, against the blue background see that it's not coincide again so diagonally and horizontally no what uh, sorry vertically and horizontally no what about diagonally again like rectangle we have seen that diagonally it doesn't have any none of the diagonals okay nothing so we can conclude that this 
especially this parallelogram, it does not have any line of symmetry. Okay. What about the square uh, rhombus? Rhombus vertically? No, we don't have any. See that? Uh, it doesn't have any. Uh, horizontally? No. Diagonally? Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, diagonally I got one line of symmetry. So this side I have one line of symmetry. I'm guessing this side gonna have another line of symmetry as well. Yeah, there you go, another line of symmetry. So this one has two line of symmetry. So whenever we are talking about rhombus, I have two line of symmetry. What about the kite? Uh, I'm not gonna fold this, but uh, I, I, I think you got the idea. This is a kite. If I fold this through this vertical line, then I'm gonna have uh, reflected congruent two shapes this triangle is reflected congruent on this triangle so this is my line of symmetry this way you can clearly see the height of this triangle above uh, this line this triangle and this triangle they are not the same so this is not a line of symmetry only this one so kite has only one line of symmetry trapezium okay this trapezium uh, it, it's isosceles trapezium. I hope you know that non-parallel lines are equal. So if I fold it through the middle, just like this, the um, uh, vertical line, then I might have, I, I will have a congruent uh, similarities. Okay, this shape will co coincide with that one and no other side. You can see that or you can try this. So trapezium, I have one line of symmetry. Equilateral triangle. Let's try this equilateral triangle. Okay, I have one equilateral triangle. I'm gonna fold it like this okay equilateral triangle as you know all sides are equal and all angles are equal see I have two congruent shapes and they are reflected through this line over here so this is one of the line of symmetry can I do with this vertex this vertex here okay yeah there you go I have another line of symmetry this way and then I'm gonna fold it through this vertex uh, there you go I have another line of symmetry okay so this shape equilateral triangle i have three line of symmetry okay now let's try with the isosceles triangle isosceles triangle uh these two sides are equal this is the vertex i'm gonna have only one line of symmetry through this third vertex or the vertex that's not the angle that's not equal to any other angle okay so see, I have one line of symmetry right over here. So that's one. Okay, pentagon. Now I have to have regular pentagon. Regular means uh, all sides equal, all angles equal. So this, all sides are equal. I'm not gonna fold it, just show that from the opposite vertex, if we um, uh, draw a perpendicular line such this, it gets bisected and it's got bisected as well. So I have one line of symmetry. So I'm going to do the same with this vertex, same with this vertex, same with this vertex. So how many do I have? One through the vertex, two. Then, well, I didn't draw that one. That's three through that four and through that five. So regular pentagon, I have five, five line of symmetry. Regular hexagon. Now look at this regular hexagon. Regular hexagon again, um, if I draw a line vertically like this, so it reflected uh, congruent shapes it makes. And over here I have another one. Then this side I have one more. So red three. But what if I fold it through this two opposite vertices? You can clearly see that it makes two equal parts and through this another one through this another one so i have three green uh, blue colors um, a line of symmetry and three red colors one two three then four five six so regular hexagon have six line of symmetry circle circle as you can see it doesn't have any vertices uh, not apparently so i can draw lots and lots and lots of line of symmetry okay i can draw it like that i can draw it like that i can fold it through the center any way i like okay so this one has infinite numbers of line of symmetry okay uh, i hope you understand that 
if you have any problem, if you have any questions, please uh, write it down. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, explain next one um, of your CIE when um, square, you have squares such as this one and some shaded shapes are there and how you can shape some more to have some uh, 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 required line of symmetry. Okay, so see you in the next video. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.